Welcome back, VST here, Samsung S23 Ultra, turn off since 1 hour, 23 degrees, and Xiaomi 13 guys, 23 degrees, not 4. Both phones have been turned off in the last 1 hour, why? Because I'm going to really try to fry them with my CPU torture test, and even the Xiaomi doesn't really want to start when I said CPU throttling torture test. So what I'm gonna do right now guys, I am going to download the CPU throttling test and I'm gonna run it for one hour on those two phones. But before we start, I need to do something very important, so please pay attention. Some settings first, brightness level set to adaptive brightness here and automatic brightness on the Xiaomi 13. Also something very important guys, as this phone is only FHD, I will also set the S23 Ultra to FHD Plus so that I can even out a bit the results. And guys, something very, very important, I promised, so pay attention. We know that Xiaomi have a very interesting approach. They really tolerate a lot of heat and also when heavy testing are involved, like benchmarks or even particular game plan, etc., they try really to go a bit loose on the thermals. Samsung have a different approach, they have a more balanced thermal management. When the phone gets too hot, they'll probably try to throttle it a bit to kind of like save the battery and all of this and keep going. But of course, this might a bit impact the performance. So thanks to my friend YDG, I've decided to up the thermal threshold from the S23 Ultra with 2 Celsius, so 2 degrees Celsius, which means that it will now tolerate a bit more heat. I've also removed all of these things. They were here switched on. Additional setting, limit CPU boosting, where heating, decrease maximum brightness, all of these things, I don't want to have them there. So I really want that the phone can take as much heat and hopefully not throttle. Number of threads 20, automatically end test after 60 minutes. So I'm going to use the same settings here, okay? I'm gonna go inside the options and I'm going to put here 60 minutes. Both phones fully charged, 100% of the battery connected to Wi-Fi. So prevent phone from going to sleep, CPU monitors, all of this is there. And guys, I will also try to do some temp readings every 15 minutes, let's say so. Just before we start, 28 for the Xiaomi 13 and 28 for the S23 Ultra. They are really even out and guys, now without any further ado, we're gonna be starting this for one hour. All right, okay, good. Yeah, as you can imagine, I will speed up the video a bit and I will do only some pausing when I'm measuring temps. And if you like videos like these guys and it's too hot already where we are, don't hesitate, sub for the channel and uh, I promise, hot videos, <laughs> hot videos. All right, enough cringe guys, let's just see how well both phones will handle. And yeah, who is gonna throttle more? All right. <laughs> guys 15 minutes of testing and now let's check 48 degree on the xiaomi 13 omg and 42 degree on the s23 ultra wow oh okay interesting result so far so good but we already see here a rather big drop on the s23 ultra let's hope this will not affect the performance let's keep going Guys, the Xiaomi 13 is displaying a message that is overheating, but still the test goes on. So I'm really, really impressed with that. Wow, let's let's just see what is gonna happen and if this is going to just stop the test. And it's almost 30 minutes, guys. So let's just see. Wow, 49 degrees. Here, guys, 42 degrees. Whoo, getting interesting. And we're down for another 30 minutes of CPU thermal throttling torture test. And 35 minutes testing guys, 50 degrees, 50 degrees for the Xiaomi 13, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 42.8, 
47 here wow okay so 47 here 45 okay i'm just doing multiple measurements guys to just try to understand what is going on wow even more than 50 guys so both phones are really pumping up their maximum wow oh wow i can feel the heat on the xiaomi 13 just by putting my hand on the phone you know like even not touching it guys oh no kidding but honestly so far what we can see the xiaomi 13 really nails the cpu throttling test it has really a slow degradation of performance over time with no significant dips and sadly on the s23 ultra we yeah already are starting to see and to notice something guys yellow lines orange lines means dips so if you have a yellow line it's like a small dip if you have an orange line this means rather a bigger dip in performance so see here guys 60 40 percent 80 100 percent so sometimes the s23 ultra is dropping its performance up to almost like 65 percent which means aggressive throttling to try to cool down as to the xiaomi 13 guys see it almost maintains stability over like 80 percent probably two percent below it like 78 percent but it looks very stable and of course this comes at the cost of excessive heat 50 degrees 48 and here guys 47 and 42 so definitely running hotter but okay bit more time to go yeah it's also interesting what happens with the battery 81 percent here 78 percent here guys so almost 20 percent guys that's really a very intensive task this test absolutely all right let's speed up <laughs> Five minutes amazing both phones are still there 50 celsius here guys and 47 on the s23 ultra it's getting interesting we are now left only with 15 minutes more and then i'm gonna do a final showdown and recap of everything that we've seen of course we're gonna have also the result from the test of 15 more torture for those two beloved phones. Fifty minutes has passed guys. We now have entered the last 10 minutes. 51 Celsius on the Xiaomi 13 and 46 on the S23 Ultra guys. So I'm just thinking that right now, seeing also all the dips in performance, some aggressive Thermal management is happening here. See, 75% battery left here, 69. So this is really how we understand this, guys. The phone here, when exposed to severe heat, it will try to compensate, right? So of course it, it will try to like limit the performance, but then yeah, you get more battery. You probably will not be so happy because this throttling will kind of impact your FPS when playing Genshin or something else. Here with this phone, guys, we just have only one. Oh wow! It, I can feel the heat just by hovering over the phone. But see here, guys, with this phone here, you're probably going to get some better performance over time, right? But, of course, the price you pay is going to be always the battery. So it's just going to be something like this or this. So this is Samsung way. They try to balance out, right? Try to conserve the phone. Xiaomi way, really, like, very loose thermals. They just are, like, all in. They just want to get a job done, no matter at what cost. Let's see only seven more minutes and I'm gonna do the final recap. The final 30 seconds of the test are approaching guys. 50 Celsius on the Xiaomi, almost 51 and 44 on the S23 Ultra. Okay, I'm just gonna test some multiple spots. Just try to capture some of the nuances, guys, but it is almost 51 degree on the Xiaomi 13. See here, 50.4, and I'm just trying to find like the hottest spot. 47, so definitely the Xiaomi 13 is running like 3 to 4 degrees hotter than the S23 Ultra. And now the final results in 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. All right, guys, the test stopped. CPU throttled. 
to 70% of its max performance on the S23 Ultra, Xiaomi result the CPU throttle to 80% of its max performance. So if you just analyze like CPU throttling, then the Xiaomi 13 is gonna win like with 8%. But again, guys, you know, like there is also the other side of the coin. The S23 Ultra has 72%, so the S23 Ultra lost 28% of a battery. The Xiaomi 13, guys, has 64%. So it really lost more battery. And of course here the battery is a smaller one, it's 4,500 mAh, here is the 5,000 mAh, but it just shows how different Xiaomi and Samsung implement thermal management. And this is why this test is a brilliant test. With all the tap readings that we did, guys, now it's time to do some analysis. The maximum performance of the S23 Ultra was like 357 GIPS. Maximum performance here was 395. The minimal performance resulting in actually these drops on the S23 Ultra is 255 GIPS, which results to the 72% drops. And the minimum here is 292, which results to dropping only to 80% of max performance. Don't get me wrong, I just believe both phones did quite nice. But it's really impressive how the Xiaomi with the small and tiny form factor, which probably also means like physically the phone is smaller, right? So cooling probably is not that good. Good. it's really impressive what the Xiaomi did here with like almost no 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 dips and it's also equally impressive how Samsung are trying to handle this now when you approach a very hot zone they will try to throttle a bit the phone and give a bit more of the performance and then throttle the phone again to try to balance out and not overheat also remember around the 30th minutes of the test guys we got a message here that the phone is clearly overheating so if you would like a more like balanced experience between heat and power and performance and battery life maybe the s23 auto is a winner but if you like really raw unleashed performance right you don't care about heat you don't care about battery xiaomi turn is probably gonna be the better suited form and yeah okay with that said guys let's just see they rested for a while one final reading 44 celsius on the xiaomi and 39 on the s20 ultra i'm gonna give now those phones so i'm time to rest thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to sub for more if you like hot videos like this here's the over and bye